Hey everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Kaiba Rose and I'm here to offer you the Astrology Insight for the week of July 23rd through the 28th. So the theme this week and the question you wanna ask yourself every day this week is, is what I have to emote constructive or destructive to what I am nurturing and cultivating in my daily life? It's important that we ask ourselves that question every day this week because this week there's opportunities to really do some major breakthroughs, some major releases, but all of that can happen only if you are very conscious of your feelings and your emotions. So let's put on our emotional intelligence caps this week and make sure that we check in with how we are outwardly expressing those feelings that are happening deep internally. Starting this week's astrology report, on Saturday the 23rd, we have Mercury trying Jupiter. Openly express your thoughts and communicate because there is something that needs to come out into the open, into your awareness. And so allow your emotions to flow so that you can become more confident in your experience and expand your passion and your idea of who you are. On Monday the 25th, we have Venus square Jupiter. Honor your inner divinity by seeing the value of letting go of the excessive sensitivity to things outside of your control. Feel safe and secure inside of yourself so you do not detract from the progress that you are making on your self-discovery journey. Expand into your individuality, expand into your self-identity, and allow yourself to be inspired by that divine inspiration bubbling up from inside of you to become yourself, to experience yourself. Don't be so affected by the external world that you can't control. Tune into your feelings, check in with your feelings, but know that you need to really kind of pay attention to what you are feeding with your energy, with your attention. And you don't want to detract from your own personal experience by getting too involved in things that are really just out of your control. On Tuesday the 26th, we have Mercury square Mars. Be conscious of what you are emoting because if what you have to express is not in check, it could shake the structures that are supporting your growth. And so what is it you are actually feeling? And what is the healthiest way to process these emotions? Work towards growth, stability, and nourishment. Focus your intention of your self-expression so you do not hinder the progress that you are making in your daily life. On Thursday the 28th, we have a new moon in Leo at five degrees. Mercury square the North Node, square the South Node, and Mercury square Uranus. Everything that has occurred is relevant and necessary for you to begin this next cycle. Focus on self-expression as a powerful creative force allowing you to give birth to the life that you want to live. How are you presenting yourself to your world? And how would you like to evolve in this way? Because there's an opportunity today to release old ways of emoting. So be extra conscious. Fine tune your intention of self expression. Because part of what you are being provoked by are those deep and hidden feelings that might be repressed. And so transmute that energy by nurturing what is giving you stability for your self-growth because you are trying to break through those habits and cycles that are limiting you. And so make sure your need to be heard and emote is aligned with that process. That's all for this week's astrology report. If you would like a personal reading, you can contact me at 11kaibarose33.com. If you'd like to support my work, you can go to patreon.com slash kaibarose. And if you'd like to find me, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. And other than that, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon.